Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Bunny Bay. My name is Eros, and in today's episode we are going to go ahead and get started on doing some more alterations to our soup kitchen, and I also have an idea that involves lots and lots of paper. But first, I'm quite hungry, so let's go ahead and visit our lovely cow that we put in here last episode, and Tomo, who plays on the server, named him the Moo Tender. And if you've been following my channel for some time now, you will know that I always seem to have a moo tender um, in my series, so that is really awesome. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, so a lot of people, uh, a lot of my patrons were like, moo tender, <gasps> is the moofia coming back? So for those of you who have followed my channel, the moofia looks like it may take its return. Dun dun dun! The moofia is returning! <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So. I have a couple plans today. So I have all of my stuff down in here, uh, which I, ooh, yeah, I put in all the different chests too. Uh, so if anybody wants to claim, oh, look, like Tomo uh, claimed an area too. Did he put any things in here? Not yet. Um, but yeah, so here is my stuff. And I do have quite a few stuff, which I plan on moving out in the future once I figure out exactly where I want to have my base. But in order to help me find my base, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a map of this whole island. So I think that's going to be really fun. Um, I did get some sugarcane and I've been harvesting it. So hopefully I can go ahead and harvest some more. And then I also need, I think, redstone, right? Where'd all my redstone go? Did I lose it? No, I have tons of redstone. What am I talking about? All right, so let's go ahead and take this, and I will need tons of iron, so I want to smelt this. And then I do have plans on making a tiny, cute little uh, mushroom cow on top of our soup kitchen. So I did get a bunch of clay, so let's go ahead and get this and uh, pop these in here so we can go ahead and get them later. And I do need some coal. Coal up in her. There we go. We'll go ahead and grab some of this coal, and we will go ahead and pop that in. And let's go ahead and pop this in. And then let's go ahead and pop that in and grab some more coal just so we have it. Because we always need lots and lots of coal. All right. So I need to smelt all this stuff, all this clay, um, into, I guess, terracotta now. So that is new. So terracotta. And then I'm going to need red dye, black dye, which I do have. Yeah, I have a couple squid inks. Um, see, so red, black and white, I think, so I do a bone meal. So I'm gonna need that. And then I'm gonna need to smelt uh, this iron, actually. So let's go ahead and pop the iron in here. All right, so while this stuff is cooking, um, oop, why am I sleeping? I guess I'll sleep. <laughs> I guess it's nighttime. We'll go ahead and go sleep really quick. There we go. And then I want to, let's see, let's go ahead and put as much as we can in there. And then in here and take that out and then we'll come back and finish that up in just a second and then we have all the sugar cane that we can turn into paper because we're gonna need to make tons and tons of maps there we go oh my goodness we're gonna have so much paper but I have a feeling that's going to go quite fast so let's go ahead and make this much into paper so in order to make maps, we need to go ahead and make some compasses. So we'll need four pieces of iron and some redstone dust. So let's go ahead and make a few. Do they stack? They do stack, so that's nice. Um, let's go ahead and make 14 for now. And hopefully that'll be enough. So I do have tons of redstone, so I don't think I'll need all this redstone. So let's go ahead and put that back for now. And then we take the compass and then we surround it by paper. Yeah, and then we can go ahead and get an empty map. So let's go ahead and make as many as we can right now, which we can make the full 14. So we'll keep that for now. And then we can go ahead and make some more maps if we need it. And then this stuff is cooking. Ooh, we got some iron in here, some terracotta. We'll go ahead and take this. All right. So let's go ahead and check up on our sugar cane to see if there's any more that we can go ahead and harvest. I know I just harvested it not too long ago. 
Uh, and I am gonna grab some wheat too. <laughs> this is the very start of a Minecraft server, so like very basic things like farming and gathering is very important right now. All right, so let's go ahead and gather up this wheat. It's important. Uh, we don't need too, too much. So let's just go ahead and grab this much and replace the seeds so they can go ahead and grow again. All right, there we go. So we got some wheat. We got some terracotta going. Um, and I think we're good to go. I do have some armor I can go ahead and pop on. So for these maps, let's see. I want to go ahead and map out this whole entire island uh, so we can go ahead and get a good view on what is going on here. So I think I want the middle of my map to be like around here. We'll see how it goes. Let's just go ahead and open up a map uh, right about here and to see how it is. Oh my goodness! <gasps> that is so cool! Oh my goodness, it actually shows up in your hand now? <gasps> that is so cool! Oh my goodness! All right. Oh, and it looks like the mushroom biome shows up as purple on the map, so that's going to look really cool. Okay, so we need to go ahead and fill up that little corner. So if we go ahead and walk that way, or is it this way? Let's see. It's hard to tell. And then we're going to need, um, the reason we needed the wheat is we need to go ahead and breed some cows. So we can go ahead and get some leather. And just a few more, and oh my goodness, here we are. So, I have mapped out our entire island. Look how cool this is. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, so, and I also right there, it says Bunny Bay Spawn, which I'll show you guys how to do in just a second. So that is awesome, and look at this. Like, this is so cool. So there's definitely a lot more uh, mushroom island than jungle um, on this island and then there's a few other jungle islands out in the outskirts which i think looks so so cool and there might be something or maybe i just didn't finish that map we'll have to do that later though but i think it looks amazing and i created this like little table area for our map and i think it looks really really cool and I was playing around with these trap doors uh, and you can kind of like move them in different ways now so I kind of have them on different like spots on the block and I think that looks really really cool and then there is this nice table and it's right in spawn so everybody can go ahead and come and see the whole map so um, as far as this goes bunny base spawn so you can actually make waypoints now on your map so that looks really really cool so let's see, what should I do? I guess I can do it for this one. I guess there's, yeah, Bunny Bay Spawn's already there. Let's see, where is Tomo's house is over here. Maybe I'll test it out with his. So in order to make these really cool waypoints, uh, all you have to do is make a banner and rename it. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll just go ahead and test this out. And let's see, we'll make a banner and then we can make the banner a different color if we want to i guess i'll just make it red for now because i do have a lot of red uh that we can go ahead and dye so let's go ahead and make six of these and then turn these into red and then we can go ahead and make a red banner and then we can always uh remake tomos if he wants a different color but this is just for demonstration purposes so you guys can understand uh how i did that waypoint on the map i think it's gonna look really cool let's go ahead and make some sticks we already had some but you know what sometimes you just need a ton of sticks and then we can go ahead and make a banner so right now I just have a normal banner and I'm going to go ahead and rename it to Tomo's house like this and I guess I can go ahead and fix up some of my tools too. So Tomo did give me this really amazing bow and this fishing rod from his fishing farm. So this bow has power 5, mending, and flame. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that up. There we go. And then we can also go ahead and fix this fishing rod that has mending, unbreaking, and luck of the sea. So let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. Alright, so now we got a fishing rod and a bow that is all fixed up. Alright, so this map has Tomo's house on it and this banner um, says Tomo's house so we're gonna go ahead and take this banner 
over to Tomo's house and I like to go ahead and put these waypoints underground just so they don't really get in the way of anybody's house. And here is Tomo's house. Hi, cow! Oh my goodness, so Tomo has uh, been repopulating the island with tons and tons of cows. Oh, and Paula's on right now, so right now we have quite a few people on. We have Orbios and Tomo, and we have Paula on, so that is awesome. Um, my lovely patrons. Yes, Tomo's been making lots and lots of cows to repopulate the island, but what I wanna do is I want to come over here and I'm just gonna place it right under his door for now. And I'm going to go ahead and place this banner right here. So it says Tomo's house, we just renamed it. We're gonna place it here. And then if we take our map and right click it with this banner, um, there we go. Do you see how on the map now it actually says Tomo's house? So that is so cool. So that is a really awesome way to go ahead and put labels in your uh, maps and you can go ahead and make waypoints it looks so cool uh, so I'll just leave that there for now and Tomo can always change the color up uh, of his banner later if he wants to but there we go it says Tomo's house that is amazing and let's go ahead and take this waypoint back to our map so we can go ahead and place it down and here we are we can go ahead and place our map back now that it says where Tomo's house is so that is so cool so here's spawn and there's Tomo's house and then we can go ahead and label everybody's home so everybody knows where everybody lives on this map and I think that is so so cool and Minecraft Minecraft you've been adding some new things to the game and it's making it absolutely amazing and I love it please continue to add cool things but yeah so there we go have our map oh my gosh there's Paula hi Paula how are you doing? We can go ahead and give her a rose because, you know, everybody needs roses here on Bunny Bay. Um, but yeah, so we can go ahead and label other people's houses in the future once we know where they live. Uh, and I also have this little room over here, which I'm not too sure what I'm going to make it. It'll probably be some type of community room. And I'm gonna eat some steak. Um, and then let's see, other things that are new over here, we have an enchanting table that I think Tomo actually made for us. Um, and this is all the same. Then we have our little derby farm. And here is our soup kitchen that we made in the last episode. And here is the Moo Tender. So the Moo Tender has returned. And then what I want to do now is I actually want to work on building. Ooh, is everything okay? I heard a skeleton bow. Um, but let's go ahead and go down here and I'm gonna grab my clay because we're gonna make something cool. Let's see if I can figure out where I put it. And now I have two like sets of rows because I'm sharing my uh, stuff with Joel. So we decided to take two. And where? There's my clay. I have tons of clay right here. And we are going to go ahead and dye them today and we're gonna make an adorable tiny little mushroom cow on top of our soup kitchen. I think it's gonna look amazing. So, let's see, I need some different colors. So if I take this terracotta and I surround it, okay, so I get uh, gray. Ooh, maybe I want light gray. Let's go ahead and see, what does uh, light gray look like? I think we can make light gray with bone meal and with gray, yes, let's go ahead and make some light gray dye and see, that should be better for us. Um, <laughs> maybe I want cyan. <laughs> I think I want cyan. Okay, hold on. We need... I think I have some cactus somewhere. Yes, I grabbed some cactus because I did do a little bit of exploring. Alright, so I want to make some cyan. So we'll go ahead and plant, the, plant this cactus out here just so we can go ahead and grow some more cacti uh, in the future. But I... Ooh, I broke a carrot! I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. Uh, but let's just go ahead and plant some cactus right here just so we can have an unlimited supply in the future. And then we can go ahead and smelt up these cacti so we can go ahead and make some cyan. So let's go ahead and go down here and smelt up, ooh, more steak. Smack, smelt up this cacti. And let's go ahead and grab some lapis pieces so we can go ahead and use that to make some cyan. And then here is my cactus dye. So let's go ahead and take the cactus, the lapis, make some cyan, and then that should make some better color. I'm trying to get the right color for my mushroom cow. Okay, it's very important. Yes, that is the color that I want. All right, so let's go ahead and make some cyan of that. 
there we go and then I'm going to make a bunch of red so let's go ahead and get some rose red and surround that there we go so that'll be perfect coloration for our mushroom cow and then I also want to go ahead and dye some of the terracotta uh, just white I think so let's go ahead and make some white of this and there we go I'll make a few of those and let's see, I might need some more red, um, but we'll leave that for now. And I do need a few black pieces of terracotta too. It's so weird to say terracotta instead of just clay. And now that we have all of our terracotta pieces, we can go ahead and get started on going up here. And it should be daytime pretty soon, so I feel pretty safe. And I do have a hoe now, so I can go ahead and fix this farm because I want to fix the things. We must go ahead and put back this precious little carrot. Oh gosh, I missed. That's okay. What is this? We are under attack. Good thing we have this really awesome bow. Uh, let's see. Dun dun. Dun dun. It's a shark skeleton! Uh, oh my gosh, that's not fair. Oh, we got him though. Awesome. Okay, we succeeded. So let's go ahead. Did he drop anything cool? He just drops a little arrow. Alright, so we defended our family and our, and our land. We did it. We did it, guys. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and make a tiny, cute, little, adorable mushroom statue up on here. I guess it won't be too, like, tiny, but it'll be tiny for, uh, <laughs> I guess, like, statues in Minecraft type of thing. Alright, so for this, let's go ahead and make some cute little hooves for our little baby mushroom. And then we'll make some cute little legs, and then we'll make him, let's see, one, two, three... Let's go ahead and go about here for now. That should be about right. And then let's go ahead and make some tiny legs back here. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. And then up here, we're going to start making the chest. And we want to add in some of those really awesome looking uh, patches that cows have. And let's go ahead and go like that. And then go up one. And then let's go ahead and start making in the rest of the body and we're going to want to add probably like some random bits too uh, let's just go ahead and connect the legs right here and then we'll go up and let's go ahead and just add like a patch right there and there we go and let's go ahead and connect right here and let's go ahead let's go like this and put some patches uh, right here and go like this and there we go and close this up so we should have a nice little body oh my gosh that is so cute a nice little body for our mushroom uh, cow there we go oh you're so cute and adorable uh, we need like a little tail or something uh, let's go ahead and just go like that maybe something like that I don't know just maybe a little nubby tail <laughs> All right, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and work on the face now. So let's go ahead and get some of this dirt so we can go ahead and use it to pillar up for now. Uh, let's go ahead and go up here. There we go. And then we should be able to make the tiny little face now. So let's go ahead and go. We're going to want it one out, I think. Yeah, and then one back here. And then we'll go like this and start making the cute little face of our cute little cow. Uh, we're gonna want the little like mouth nose area uh, right about here and then we'll put the eyes in right there and then we'll put in some cute little patch colors right there and put in some of this red terracotta and then fill this in a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to put the cute little horns um, on the side of the face too, just like that. And we should have an adorable little mushroom cow friend. Uh, let's go ahead and see how it looks. Ooh, that looks cute already. Oh my goodness. And then once we get silk touch, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and get some mushrooms um, and use silk touch on it, like those big mushroom blocks, and put some little mushrooms on the back and on the head, just like how uh, mushrooms in Minecraft have like little mushrooms growing um, on the back 
Uh, so once we get silk touch, we'll definitely go ahead and add in some mushroom pieces. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look and see how our cute, adorable little mushroom statue. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. <gasps> He's so tiny. A tiny little mushroom statue. That is awesome. Uh, I think I need to go up with the back a little bit. Let's go ahead and fix that and go up. I think it'll look a lot better. Um, yeah, if we're a little bit, we have a little bit more body to our mushroom cow. So let's go ahead and go up here and fix this. And we'll go like that. And let's go ahead there. And then we'll add in some more of the patches color just because it looks awesome when it's on the mushroom cow. And let's go ahead and add a piece right here. And then that should look a little better. And yeah, that looks, yeah, that definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the right dimensions for our precious little mushroom cow. That is amazing. I think for placeholders, um, we'll go ahead and put in, we'll put in some red wool for now as like a placeholder. And then eventually, once we get silk touch, we are going to go ahead and replace the wool uh, with mushroom pieces. So let's go ahead and make uh, just a couple of that and then do I have any other? Yeah, I do have I have tons of red dye. What am I talking about? I have tons and tons of red dye. We'll go ahead and do that and then maybe we'll use item frames for now. Do I have any more leather? That is the question. I do have some leather. So let's go ahead and do this. This, you know, mushrooms are gonna look a lot better, but this is just the placeholder. Okay, this is just gonna gonna give you a little sneak peek in how awesome this this cow is gonna look. Okay, <laughs> we'll see. This may look awful. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. I'm going to pretend to make a little tiny mushroom on our mushroom cow. So let's go ahead and go up here and collect that, and then go up with the dirt and then we want to put like little mushroom pieces uh, definitely on that top of the head so we'll put one like right here <laughs> and we'll use the item frames to make like the mushroom dots just so we know that one day this will be a mushroom a real mushroom in minecraft and we'll replace it and then we can go ahead and just place like some on the back right now and I'm on item frames, but those are just placeholders for real mushroom pieces in the future. Let's go ahead and see how ridiculous that looks. Mushroom friend, you are so cute. <laughs> All right, so I can't wait to get silk touch. Then we'll go ahead and fix it up. But I think for now it looks pretty nice and I'm quite happy with it. And we might have to go ahead and add up some different blocks over here. To kind of make it look like my ceiling again maybe we'll have add like another layer or something but i'll f work on that um oh look at paula's working on her house over there still she's working hard and i know yeah tomo and ori are still on so what i want to work on soon is this building over here which is going to be right next to our amazing looking map it looks so awesome <gasps> so pretty and i want this to be some type of community um building in here so if you guys have any ideas of what i can do uh let me know down in the comment section below maybe i'll make like a little hotel area or a place for a uh, little like books and memories um uh, to remember different things that we do on the server and then for my base i have a couple ideas i might want to make my base like completely underground so i might make it underground like over here I think that would be a really good place or I can go ahead and come on over here to one of these small uh, little islands that are next to our jungle right over here and I can kind of take that island over like maybe one of these islands and take that island over and build like on top of the island and then maybe um, some area down underwater too but I think I really want to go for the under oh my gosh what is that is that a parrot <gasps> Is there a parrot over there? Is that somebody's like pet? Oh my gosh, let's see if I can get some seeds and rescue that parrot. What the heck? Why is there just a parrot hanging out in the middle of the ocean? Are you a tame parrot? Oh no. Are you okay? Oh no. Will you be my friend? No? Are you somebody's 
Are you somebody's pet? Do you need more seeds? Let's see if I can get more seeds and see if this parrot will love me. I think it's seeds, right? I think you give them seeds and you can try to tame them with it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a couple more to see. Or maybe it's just somebody else's parrot. Uh, and if it is, then your parrot is like like just out in the middle of the ocean and I don't know if it knows how to swim too well. It might like get pretty tired soon. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Uh, I might go ahead and make some leads if I can't tame it. Uh, just because I don't want no parrot like hanging out in the ocean. It looks kind of distressed right now. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can tame it with these seeds. Poor little guy. Alright. Will you be my friend? No. Alright. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make a lead really quick to see if we can lead this parrot to safety. Because I don't know why... Or maybe because it's swimming it won't be tamed? I don't even know. I'm so confused. Alright, so I do have a few slime balls and some string. Let's see if I can remember how to make a lead. It's been a while since I've played vanilla. Oh, I remember! Alright, so we have a lead and I have some more seeds too. Um, just to see. I'm, I'm really confused. Like, what is going on with this parrot? <laughs> I'm thinking it might be somebody's pet because I don't know why it would be in the ocean. Uh, but if not, I'm definitely going to tame it. It's going to be my friend. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to spawn if I'm able to use leads on parrots. Which I haven't really done anything with parrots before. We need to light up spawn, don't we? Let's go ahead and place that torch there for now. And parrot, I will rescue you. At least I'll try. Uh, are you still there? Yes, you're still there. Alright, little guy. I'm coming for you. Don't you worry. I will rescue you. Oh. Did you just fly out? Alright, well I have you in a lead now. And let's come over here, little guy. I don't want you just, like, in the water. What's going on with you? Alright, so we have you in a lead. Okay, now you're on dry land. You can go ahead and un- Wait, wait! Do you want my seed? <gasps> you weren't tamed! You weren't tamed, little guy! Now we're best friends forever! Oh. My. Goodness gracious! We have a parrot friend! <gasps> Are you gonna go on my shoulder? Is that how it works? I, I haven't- I've never tamed a parrot in Minecraft before. Uh, be my friend! Will you go on my shoulder? Oh my goodness. Guys! It's looking at me! <gasps> it's looking at me! Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. Uh, let's see, can I have you sit? Okay, okay, so we can have it sit down and it can stay. And then, will, I, will you follow me wherever I go? Let's see. If the parrot, oh my gosh, the parrot is following us. How adorable is that? Okay, will you go on my shoulder now? What if I jump around? Okay, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out in just a second. Let's go ahead and get to like a better area where there's more safety uh and come on over here uh all right let's go over here and all right little guy you're coming all right little guy oh my gosh we're gonna need a name for you i do have some name tags <gasps> oh my goodness okay so let's go ahead and go up here and come up this way Come on, little guy. Oh, you're so tiny. <gasps> and look, there's dolphins down there in the ocean. There's dolphins and squid. And there was some fish earlier I saw. Um, oh gosh. Is my, is my parrot making... Oh, did you see that dolphin? The dolphin just like leaped out of the water. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, we're definitely going to have to like get dolphins and stuff too. But I really want this parrot to be able to be in some safety, at least in some light for now. Um, oh, you're so cute, little guy. Oh, you're so amazing. Why don't you come in here into the soup kitchen? Oh, there you are. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's on. It's on my body. It did it. I have a parrot friend. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get to know my little parrot friend. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> let me know what you guys think about my cute little uh, mushroom statue that we made earlier and what I should do with that community build that I have been working on next to our map.
<laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue on our adventures. Bye!